Hi, my name is Miguel Malena with Riverbed Support. Welcome to today's Steelhead Know-How. And today we are going to be discussing configuring GRE optimization with Rios 970. Before we get started, let's take a minute to go over this feature. The GRE optimization feature allows you to optimize TCP traffic that's encapsulated within a GRE tunnel. Prior to Rios 970, it was not possible to optimize TCP traffic that was encapsulated in GRE, and instead the steelhead would simply just relay this traffic. However, with this feature, it is now possible to intercept traffic that's in a GRE tunnel and optimize it. This feature supports various tunnel topologies, most notably point to point, hub and spoke, and full mesh. When this feature is enabled, the steelhead's inner channel will be tunneled in GRE. However, the out-of-band splice will not be tunneled in GRE. Now before we enable this feature, it's important that we take care of one specific configuration. We need to ensure that the steelhead's default gateway points to the WAN router. This is very important as otherwise you could find yourself in a potential routing loop if you point to a landside router. Please ensure that when enabling this feature, the steelhead's default gateway points to a WAN router. Now, in order to enable this feature, you must enable it through the command line, either through serial or through SSH, via the command in-path peering-gre enable. When running this command, you will be prompted to restart the optimization service. And after doing so, be sure to write the configuration. Once this command has been enabled and the service has been restarted, you can run the command show in-path peering-gre to ensure that the feature is enabled. And optimizing GRE traffic is as simple as that. Now, in order to back out this configuration, simply go back into the configuration prompt, run the command no in-path peering-gre enable, and restart the optimization services. Notice that running this command requires a service restart when either enabling or disabling this feature. So please plan accordingly and do not run this command during production hours. Plan for a maintenance window so that you do not interrupt any user traffic during production hours. And that concludes today's Steelhead know-how on how to configure GRE optimization.